Today on BRS TV, we're going to install a Max Specs gyre powerhead. Hi, I'm Ryan, your host of BRS TV, where each week we cover a new topic related to reefing. This week, we're going to install the Max Spec gyre. The gyre is completely different than typical powerheads in that it sucks up water from the bottom of the pump and emits it in a thin, powerful sheet of water flow. A typical powerhead sucks up water from the sides and emits it as a beam or cone-shaped flow pattern. The result is that gyre creates a very unique circular flow pattern in the tank. The most common install will be on the side of the tank near the top. This creates a sheet of water that crosses the top of the tank. When it approaches the opposing side of the tank, the flow pattern bends down towards the bottom of the tank where it crosses the bottom and returns to the pump creating a circular gyre. I personally think this unique flow pattern is pretty cool and I've never seen anything that is so obviously getting the entire tank's water volume moving, eliminating as many dead spots as possible and keeping much of the tanks to try to suspended for filter socks and the skimmer to remove. The corals seem to like the current-like flow as well. The pump can also be operated in reverse. The effect isn't quite the same. It does create a circular flow pattern, but the flow velocity is much slower and the flow pattern wider, which results in a smaller localized circular flow pattern rather than one that crosses the tank. The gyre also comes with additional pump heads, which allow you to reverse a single side if you wish, which would allow you to have one head operating in reverse and the other forward, which might be useful in some unique installs. You could also exchange both heads so the pump naturally operates in reverse. For our install, we're going to leave both heads in the default forward position. The three main components of the gyre are the pump itself, the control box, and the power supply. Mount the control box somewhere accessible but away from water and use drip loops for both the power supply and control box where applicable. Mounting the pump is simple. Like most pumps these days, it has a magnetic mounting bracket. The most popular mounting position will likely be on the side of the tank near the top, but the pump can absolutely be mounted on the back of the tank horizontally or even vertically if you want to play with different flow patterns or try to hide the pump and cords a bit better. We're going to select the most common orientation. The gyre does have some modes like alternating gyre and pulse, which do allow you to use a single pump if you like, especially on fish only tanks, but I think most people with reef tanks are going to want to use two pumps with one on each side to make sure the corals are not getting blasted in the same way all day. Using two pumps will improve health and make sure you get natural growth patterns. The three main operating modes to choose from are the pulse mode, which can be used to pulse the pump on and off with even increments of fractions of a second up to 20 seconds. This can be used just to vary the flow pattern or even make a wave-like pattern. Next is an alternating gyre mode, which can be used to alternate the direction of the gyre or flow backward and forward. Again, reverse gyre is more localized and has a more dispersed flow pattern. Alternating gyre mode also has much longer cycles in the pulse mode between 2 minutes and 12 hours. There's also a constant on mode, which is pretty self-explanatory. More or less, you set it to the flow speed you desire and you're done. There's a feed mode as well. Cycle to the feed mode and it'll turn the pump off for 10 minutes and then return to the original mode it was on automatically once it's done. I want to get a complete gyre going in one direction, stop, and then start in the other direction. So I won't be using the constant speed mode. I could use the pulse or alternating gyre mode to achieve this. The two biggest differences will be somewhat different flow patterns as well as the frequency it changes direction. With pulse mode, the longest is 30 seconds and the shortest with alternating gyre mode is 2 minutes. I like the normal forward gyre mode best, so I'm going to set these up to alternate using 30 second alternating pulses. To set this up, cycle through the modes until you get to the pulse mode, which has the two arrows separated by the dot. Hit the wrench button to enter the setup and rotate the dial to set the strength of the flow. I have a 40 inch 70 gallon tank here and I'm going to set it at about 60%, but I'll probably adjust it down once I get both pumps going and see how the tank adjusts. Hit the setup button once more and select the length of the on-off pulses. There are 20 settings between 4 tenths of a second to 30 seconds. More or less, you just have to count the clicks as you turn the dial. The LEDs will also give a visual representation of the length of each cycle. I'm going to turn it 20 clicks so I'm at the end with 30 second pulses. Hit set and repeat with the other pump and I'm done. To get them to alternate, I'm going to unplug them both, plug one in and wait for it to turn off at 30 seconds. The moment it turns off, plug the other pump in. This will achieve the alternating 30 second gyres in the tank. 
One thing to note is there's almost no chance that you hit 30 seconds exactly, so the pumps will actually creep into each other's cycle. So some of the time, both pumps will both be on and off at the same time. Personally, this is what I'm looking for to add a bit more variety to the flow. Left rotation, right rotation, then a more powerful turbulent flow with occasional complete off times. If you're looking for only alternating left and right flowing gyres which never overlap, you could hook the units up to a typical on-off style wave maker or something more advanced like an apex controller and its wave maker functions. In this case, I would just use a constant speed mode on the gyre, then turn the pumps on and off using the wave maker. I've been told by the manufacturer that these pumps are well suited for an on-off style wave maker. One nice feature of using the Apex is you can do longer, more advanced patterns. The speed isn't controllable via the Apex, but you can make longer on periods with a controlled overlap, such as five minutes right gyre current, five minutes left gyre current, five minutes both for a turbulent current, and repeat. It will be fairly turbulent with both on, so you may need to turn the pumps down a bit to accommodate for that. One quick tip, if you're trying to change modes on the gyre controller and it isn't responding, you probably have it in a setup mode, which should be indicated by a green light in the center. Hit the center wrench button until it changes blue and you should be able to cycle through the different modes properly. If you have any questions or advice for your fellow reefers on the gyre, check out the comments area down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because we release two new reefing videos every week. See you next week with another episode of BRS TV.